Well, well, well. So that was who the spoilers were talking about. Well, while well, we await uh, things that I do not know if it's bad news or good news, and uh, now I'm talking about real life, don't worry, it's any, nothing in my personal life. It's more about, from what I hear, surrounding internet and stuff like that, which makes me very much panicky. I mean, after all those years, to all just be taken down and stuff like that, is something I would find unforgivable, but I wouldn't consider it uh, impossible. But I'm not here to rant about that. I'm here to talk about this chapter. Yes, my people. This is going to be an even longer review than normal. And the Eden Zero reviews are noted to be very, very long. Hey, I like this series so far. So that just means I have a lot of things to talk about. Maybe. Either way, but these are two chapters. For some reason, Hiromashima gave us two chapters of Eden Zero. I think the reason being that uh, if we had ended with chapter 70, then it would have been a very unfulfilling feeling. Not to mention chapter 71 is awesome, but it's also not exactly what you would want to have waiting a week for and then waiting another week for. Yes, we're gonna have to wait for chapter 72, but whatever happens, happens. Not to mention seven, 70 is more just exploration. But hey, which... You are awesome. And then I'm going to fan, at least for now, here to give you this review. First of all, Rebecca has switched into an outfit. I have to say, while I like the outfit, I do not really like the way it is. And I'm not talking about how skimpy it is. I'm talking about... <laughs> it's blue-colored. <laughs> do you understand the joke? That is almost exactly... Like how Lucy from Fairytale looks. Almost. <laughs> There's just some minor differences that she has sandals. Lucy never had sandals. She had shoes on, I think. And uh, and also is the fact that she had a cross of it all. It's also revealed that uh, the ether system can actually summon forth shoes as well as pigtails. Oh yeah, and Lucy also did pigtails, so yeah, I mean, it's a good design, it's just I'm saying, <laughs> for a character who's so based on Lucy, that is kind of much Lucy. Also a very sick color scheme as well, detailing the crew of Ed and Sarah as they fight. But now on to the chapters. They have infiltrated the Drakenjo's system of Belia Gael, or as it was known in Guilds, Sector 1 of guilds because apparently the entire place is a city which is not that surprising it's um, Draken Yo after all and as we saw in Spider's situation it appeared to be more than just a ship in fact it even gets tourists I'm kinda of surprised that a place full f that seems to be so very crooked will get tourists but hey every place has a charm don't it after all and not to mention the, f the fact that Draken Yo is a man who want money and what better way to find money than finding tourists that are willing to waste their money? I guess we'll see. A hermit is keeping time to them through a spe special lacrima, another nod to fairy tale, as she warns them that Draken Yo is a big shot in the underworld and not someone to be underestimated. And so, and also she answers that apparently, now that uh, Homura has the title of Valkyrie, Valkyrie Homura, so to speak. I don't know how she has managed to do that, especially since, well, she's human and all, but uh, she apparently has given the authority to transfer us, uh, transfer us to activate the Eden Zero's armament system. I don't know how that works, but <sighs> I guess it doesn't matter. But Hermit's saying it's gonna take some time before it starts up, apparently implying that uh, once it starts up, they will really have some fun. And so they begin to get exploring, which is a very adorable scene, especially with Pino being on Shiki's moments. And we see them do a lot of things. Shiki destroying a machine of strength contest. I don't know if he's using his ether gear for that. Homer gets hit on by some by some ugly people. <laughs> and young wise <laughs> playing underground poker. <laughs> you know, it's so fitting for him. 
But hey, and oh, oh, not to mention is the fact that the guys get captivated by bunny girls doing strip poses. Although it's not exactly known if those are bunny girls. And it could just be girls building bunny ears. The reason why I'm saying that is because the you do you remember the bunny girl that Oldwise is traveling with? I mean, she has paws, I believe. She really did look like a bunny girl. These do not really look like a bunny girl. They more like look like humans with bunny ears. Of course, uh, Hermit and uh, Pino forces them out of that place. It's kind of satisfying to see that Shiki is so interested now in the naked bodies. He's after all so sheltered that it makes sense that it's can corrupted. They all mention so much it's uh, ex this place is exciting despite the fact that it's filled with crooked people and here Shiki is saying that they cannot really attack this place despite it being full of people that may b be bad guys seeing they came from guilds it's uh <sighs> Shiki also says he's a man who won't take a life without a reason this is showing that Shiki is willing to take a life after all we have seen how cruel he can be to those he consider enemies but uh, he will not just do that uh, without a reason. This shows that he is an outlawing hero with a, with a reason. The fact that reason that Wise is willing to do that shows that he is the more, well, I want to say anti-hero of the group. Will it make sense also? The fact that Homura got caught in that dispute is a little bit uh, fooling you know, at all, especially with getting all that. But you know, the spoilers implied, as a guy who reads spoilers, yes, I read spoilers because I don't like being surprised. And you can all, and if you ask me, that doesn't make sense, then I says, who needs sense? Logic is a flaw in this world. They said that they will run into something familiar. Me and a lot of people mostly suspected that that one would be Jin. I hoped it would be Jin, because I actually want him back into the story. Yes, I may have said how much I hated him, and how much I considered him to be scum, but that was before I realized that this guy may actually have hidden debt. And having read read the manga, I've realized that I was overreacting a little bit. Don't get me wrong, Jin may still be an enemy, but he was almost designed to be some guy who could very well become an ally. And I want to have a confirmation if that is true. But alas, we haven't seen him in the story since. Which makes me wonder, has Hiromishima forgotten him? Or is he just saving him for something else? I hope he hasn't forgotten him. Either way, the spoilers said that we were going to meet a familiar person, but who we met was someone I did not suspect. The one we meet is none other than Present Sibir. Yes, or Old Man Sibir. The guy who is not the alternate self from Norma that the guy met a long time ago. Yes, that was how he was looking like 50 years ago, but we now meet the present day Sibir, who is in this time an old man, extremely skinny, and uh, apparently having reformed his ways. I'm saying apparently because this is still the belly of Goel. He recognizes Weiss since he knew him as he was young. And uh, after uh, disclosing the situation, he, we also see a little bit more of his personality. Also, it's worth noting that the bird who was by his side as young one is still by his side as old one. Huh. I guess it's not a bird with a short lifespan. What makes this thing is that Shiki is a bit angry at Sibir, especially since how Sibir treated Pino, which makes sense. But Weiss is pointing out that uh, this guy has not met Pino or them other others because he's the present day t t uh, Sibir. And Sibir himself seems a bit shocked, sure, knowing that he may have actually treated uh, Pino harshly, as especially with Pino being so scared. It makes sense how much the past Sibir treated her but he appears to actually be um, reformed as he says that I did a lot of pretty horrible things however we should also take some things in consideration and that is Shiki ended up in a junkyard where he met a lot of broken robots that Sibir used for his playthings and if we are to imply that that really happened and Pino's situation did not really happen then we can assume um, he really was more than a little mischief back then uh, and it seems to imply that a lot have happened but now he owns a bar in Belial as he goes back to his things 
He wonders how we can change, but Wise here is actually saying something more, that while Pino is still scared, it's kinda heartwarming for Wise to assure her that I know you only saw his cruel side, but believe it or not, that guy saved my life, which may imply why he took Wise's betrayal so harshly, although it's not exactly known on why he did it, I take it. But the chapter ends with despair, as Draken Yo is doing a broadcast, actually revealing that they <coughs> that he already know that they are here. And his crew members have already infiltrated the ship using his uh, alchemy powers to change the metal into gas. As they declare that they will kill the intruders, the cam communication will be cut off. However, as I said before, this is a longer review than usual. The reason being that I'm gonna throw in chapter 72 review in this one as well so what happens in that one well let's just say we see which in action in chapter 72 the drakenyo's men infiltrate the ship as which asks for permission for assault mode but the communication are cut off i'm kind of angry of the fact that despite hermit being a master hacker people can still out hack her we still don't really know how the thing is. But it's actually revealing here, or at least implying that all of the uh, four Starshine Maidens had a, a battle dress mode. As even Hermit confirms that she can fight a little, but it's not exactly known where that little is. And uh, so, and so Draken Yo is saying that he holds Eden Zero hostage, but we actually get to see what is happening on the ship. I am really saying I really despise Draken Yo's people as we can see how arrogant they are and so much that the girl is willing to kill them and Maria is willing to kill them so much. But hey, they are who they are. This defense systems can of course not stop them as they, all they complain about is the fact that this is not enough. So the one who enters the scene is a uh, witch who managed to block a bullet by, by Seth. And now she says that she cannot overlook their treasury anymore. And so she activates the crisp, uh, removing the ether limits. As we actually see a small implications of her core, it shows, I think, which shows to imply on why the um, Valky, the four star ma shine maidens are so unique. Apparently, they have a crystal core, which is inside themselves. Although Pino did imply that if a core of a robot is broken, they cannot be revived. I guess that is implying that that is that kind of core. And now they're doing a requip here too. Another nod to Fairytale, which is very nice. Battle dress, which may also be a nod to uh, Fairytale and all. And now um, she enters Assault Witch, a form like, mmm, mmm, isn't she gorgeous? And but of course, Draken Yo's <coughs> people uh, are not impressed by this. However, she quickly shows to them that she is not someone to at least be underestimated that quickly, as she can change change the sun weapons to ice. As Maria just breaks a part of the ship just to uh, just to be a little bit f funny, and. Uh, and uh, throw and tries to attack with uh, her rubber things, but which managed to dodge it using air, and uh, even man and surprisingly knocks out every single one of uh, the crew at least for now with electricity. Yes, you may point out that oh oh it was another one hit KO, but it wasn't just a one hit KO. She actually defended and then she did it. Not to mention, Seth is a robot. Electricity should work on him. And you have to pay attention that electricity conducted on the Eden Zero, which is a metal ship, is more than just a little bit of damage, you know? It's lightning ether. Actually showing that um, she can change her element at will. Hermit to call that uh, magic, although it's not exactly magic per se. It's uh, more like she can change uh, uh, her ether like it is magic. After all, we still don't really know 100% her power, but um, she could change the ship similar to that thing. 
She, but this is showing on why she has the title of witch. She can change the ether inside of her into elements. It's not exact. This apparently is not an ether gear, or it's not exactly confirmed if it is an ether gear. But she can manipulate the ether in her body as doing it into ele elements itself. There's how she got the title of Steel Sorceress. And let me tell you, we see a full view of her. In her assault mode, she has some... Well, uh, the lines on her body seems to imply she got some muscles on her. Mmm. Mmm. She's gorgeous. She's even doing a classic Baroness pose as she is stomping on Maria and saying that she will show them no mercy. It's very satisfying to see that, especially since Maria was being so arrogant. And if you complain about, oh, Draken Yo's uh, most personal bodyguards was all but defeated, it's uh, not really that, that, well, you know, easy, you know. Especially since um, the spare always has a ticket to come back, you know. And despite we should, uh, despite if all of the, if you, there is still, there's still sister and hermit though. And although hermit says that she can only fight a little, it seems to imply that all of them have battle modes. It's just, however, that Valkyrie was the one who was most designed for fighting, meaning that she, well, she did have an assault mode. We saw that, but she didn't call that a star dress. So, Shiki, with the communications back on, we, uh, uh, Shiki says that we'll settle this on the ship itself. And as I said before, Despair has not yet given up, unfortunately. Dragon Yo is impressed by the crew. However, he does say that it's gonna get some turbulence as he sets out the special forces of Dragon Yo. Because those that attacked his attacked Eden Zero, those are his inner circle. But these are his special forces, those people that are getting run into some turbulence. Meaning that these people he is sending out are the real threat. Draken Jules special forces, the element four, another nod to Fairy Tale. Many nods to Fairy Tale in the in these chapters, but I like it. This is basically these chapters. Again, sorry about the long review, but hey, given how circumstances might happen to YouTube, may, all of this may actually not be so much permanent if you think about it. But yeah, it was very wonderful to see witch fighting. Even that scene when they just exploring in Belial was actually kind of exciting. While the fight with the, the Dragon Yost forces could have been a little bit more exciting, I still feel like this is a very exciting situation because Draken Yule's forces here were shown to be so arrogant. To have them get shut up by witch like that is extremely satisfying. And I have to say which battle more, the Steel Sorceress is a very good one. But now I am curious to see if all of the other four star Shine Maidens have a battle dress. But again, Valkyrie didn't appear to have a battle dress. Yes, she did have an assault mode and uh, which call this mode Assault Witch, so maybe that was her star dress. Hiromishima just yes, didn't name it yet, or battle dress, I mean. But hey, I really hope we can see if the sister and Hermit can fight, even though she says to fight a little. But yeah, the element of four will be unleashed, but Shiki is intending to settle things here. There are only three people who can fight in that group. Homura, Shiki and Weiss. Unless of course Pino has a hidden battle f formation, who is going to be the fourth one? Also where is Captain Connors? Can't he assist on the ship as well? Well, we'll see won't we? More importantly than that, who is the four... But it's also worth noting that Shiki must fight the... Uh, uh, Draken Yo and Rebecca, she could probably infiltrate the ship back there as well, so she can assist them. But that still leaves one person less to handle the elemental four. So who could that be? I don't know. 
awesome chapters. I don't really know why we got two chapters, but hey, I'm not complaining about that. This arc is starting off with a bang. I don't know how long it will be, but hopefully not too despairing. But we're at least getting kicked into high gear. Give me your thoughts if you have any.